We spend days saving up for that big shopping trip to buy that special dress. And today, we're going to examine the cost of that special dress and the cost of the retail industry in the past, present, and the future. In the past, the price of goods was more expensive to produce because companies did not have advanced machinery. So, they would have to hire more employees who worked for hours on end, doing the work that simple machines do today. More products were handmade, causing the products to be more expensive to produce. This also made the occupancy costs be higher. Overhead costs, holding costs, and cost of hiring more people to compensate for having no machines to do all of that work for you. Companies spent a lot of time and money on billboards, TV radio ads, magazines, and print media ads. They spent anywhere from thousands to millions of dollars. But today, since we have so much technology surrounding us and helping to ease our lives, the price of goods has gone down. It has become cheaper to produce goods because of new technologies. Now, companies do not need to hire as many people because they can just use these machines to make everything and sell a lot of these things. Occupancy costs have gone down, but at the same time, they have gone up too. Because now, companies need to have major holding departments. They have to have actual factories and then the actual store itself, the brick and mortar version. The marketing costs of the companies are more focused on digital and print, not as much as print media. Now, the focus is on social media and online ads, which are targeted to you, the consumer. In the future, we don't know what will happen. But with new technologies such as 3D printing or new machines in general, producing goods is just going to become easier, cheaper, and faster. So the cost of producing regular everyday goods and clothes will be lower, whereas luxury goods that are handmade will be more expensive because that person's work and time is going to be more expensive than the company's work and time. The occupancy costs will also go down because we imagine that in the future, most brick and mortar stores will not actually exist. The focus will be just on online and retail shopping where there will be no store, so you're actually just shopping from a holding area. Companies will only have this one holding area and factories, really. The marketing costs would also go down because now it's so focused on social media, and with ad blocking technologies, you can't really use any Facebook ads. And now you have to look at a shift towards native content where the brands and services will be incorporated into whatever you're watching or reading, and they will be sponsors for what that is. There's also price match guarantee, which displays transparency of prices for companies. And companies now are aware of what their competitors are charging. The consumers are aware of what the other people are charging. So consumers can actually go into an actual store, brick and mortar store, look at what they want, go online and buy the same thing at a cheaper cost, also known as showrooming. To prevent that, companies are doing price match guarantees. So you bring in proof that that same product is cheaper somewhere else. So then the company will match that price and give you the same price. This just shows that now companies have to focus more on brand loyalty and experience because the price match will be the same. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, and we can't really predict it, but retail will constantly be evolving, and we just have to keep up with it with disruption and stay informed.